Their offensive rhythm, they were, you know, they scored 75 points in the first half, so we had to try something and, you know, a little box and one, a little, um, you know, three, two, just try to, I mean, that's kind of what you have to do in the NBA these days. I mean, it's so hard to guard. Everybody shoots threes, um, the slightest bit of contact, and it's two free throws. And so it's almost like college now in some ways where you try to mix and match defenses and keep teams off balance a little bit because it's virtually impossible to, you know, to, 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 to defend at a high level. It's just uh, the way the game is set up. Uh, speaking of Wiggins, uh, you said a while back that you were hesitant to go back to the Wiggins Kuminga pairing. Mm-hmm. You closed with them today. What, what did you like about what you saw from them today? Uh, well, I think um, putting them with Dario um, helped spread the floor. Um, and uh, I thought both um, JK and Wiggs were, were just playing uh, such great games that um, you got to throw them out there. They're, you know, two of our best players tonight. And uh, I thought uh, JK, it was, it was maybe the best game he's played, not just because he made four threes, but his spirit and his energy. Um, he just, he seemed right. He seemed comfortable. Um, the whole group, the whole team was just committed to, um, you know, Let's go out and win, and and um, very very proud of them. You know they've taken a lot of heat. We've all taken a lot of heat. You know this past week, deservedly so. But this is what you do um, as a pro. Um, a lot of these guys are champions. Um, you got to respond, and they did tonight. How much of that energy is connected to the way the last week? I mean, from the fourth quarter at Denver through the deep pistol yeah. game and the last two games. Been about as bad a stretch as you've had all year. It, it, yeah, it was the worst stretch. These last three games, the Detroit game, we didn't play well either. But uh, I think uh, we um, we got off track emotionally, spiritually, the last couple games. Our fans could feel it. Um, we got booed for the first time since I've been here in 10 years. Um, and as I said, both nights we deserved it because our our energy and our competitive spirit was not there. And we we found that again tonight. What Clay did? Clay was brilliant. I mean, he just, you know set the tone, hitting those two threes to start the third quarter, and they took the immediate timeout. And more importantly, um, all of the uh, assists. He had six of them. He kept finding uh, Trace on the dives to the rim because they were, you know, coming out to cover Clay because he was hot. And uh, when he keeps it simple like that and just shoots when he's open and keeps moving the ball, um, you know, he's that's when he's at his best. And we had five turnovers for the game. I mean, that's um, Raymond just said low, low in franchise history. Um, kind of crazy. Um, Thirty-nine assists, five turnovers, and it's still a game down the stretch. But like I said, this is this is the NBA. You, you know, everybody's scoring. Um, if one team, you saw it last night, one team makes threes, the other team doesn't. Somebody loses by fifty. Both teams make everything. It's 140 to, you know, 131 like tonight. It's a different league and we're all adapting to that.